Is it time to buy or sell Palo Alto Network stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Palo Alto Networks. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, July 12, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since July 12, 2023, our system has ranked Palo Alto Networks as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 4.79. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. We'll continue monitoring this evaluation to see how it unfolds in the coming days. The stock lies in the lower part of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $232.34 is broken, it will firstly indicate a slower rate of rising, but may also be an early warning for a trend shift. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 42.44% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 42.25% and 61.84%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 48.68% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 96.87% and minus 44.17%. This translates to a price range of $7.27 to $129.88 after a year. Our latest daily update for Palo Alto Networks includes the headline, Palo Alto Networks Inc. stock price fell more than minus 7.03% Wednesday closing at $232.64. The Palo Alto Networks Inc. stock price fell by minus 7.03% on the last day. Wednesday, July 12, 2023, from $250.23 to $232.64. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 8.66% from a day low at $231.81 to a day high of $251.88. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 7.53% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day by 15 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 18 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $4.11 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $578.79, and the lowest price was $132.22. Currently, the price is 59.81%, or $346.15, below the 52-week high, and 63.7%, or $408.26, below the all-time high on April 20, 2022, when the price reached $640.90. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Thursday, January 12, 2023, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 220. On Thursday, January 12, 2023, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 220. On Thursday, January 5, 2023, Piper Sandler set a price target of 220. On Thursday, January 5, 2023, Piper Sandler set a price target of 220. On Thursday, December 1, 2022, Redburn Partners set a price target of 270. Analysts have given Palo Alto Networks stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Palo Alto Networks. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The Palo Alto Networks Inc. stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On corrections up, 
there will be some resistance from the lines at $249.12 and $232.66. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, July 5, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 9.79%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 6 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 30 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 6 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 35 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 108 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 102 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Palo Alto Networks Palo Alto Networks Inc. finds support from accumulated volume at $226.79 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $20.07 between high and low, or 8.66%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.33%. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Palo Alto Networks. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Palo Alto Networks is at $241.60. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Palo Alto Networks encounters its first support level at $226.79. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Palo Alto Networks from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were executed by Clarich Lee, who bought and sold 135,000 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 38.159. Overall, Insiders purchased 828,951 shares and sold 1,872,541 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Palo Alto Networks stock a good buy? The Palo Alto Networks Inc. stock holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe Palo Alto Networks Inc. will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a hold slash accumulate to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Thursday, July 13, we expect Palo Alto Networks to open up $6.14 and start trading at $238.78. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. 
We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.